But um, another thing I wanted to ask you about too is um, um, because you know you had Jane, um, when when EPMD did the Jane series, did they ever reach out to you about that, or was that just kind of like so different that you didn't really look at it like? Because in that era, there was no, you know, to do anything kind of similar to what anyone else has done was considered biting, right? So that's why I was Taboo. curious. Yes, sir. So I was kind of curious of like EPMD ever kind of reached out to you and be like, hey, we got this idea, you know, um, you know, I know the songs weren't the same, but, you know, like. Look, EPMD came out while after a while, but when shit got easier to do that kind of shit. <laughs> OK, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying it wasn't a fucking ah, uh, fuck it. So what about it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I always found that, you know, and like, like, I, you know, I'm a younger dude, so my entry point's different. And then I have to go back in hip hop and look at it and kind of almost take note of the years, right? Like when you grew up through it, you remember the year because of just nostalgia and what you were doing at the time and stuff. For someone like me, I got to go back and do the do research and, and pinpoint in my head like this is this year, this is this year. OK, so this kind of comes before this and stuff. So I was always kind of just curious about the whole Jane thing. because I always found that a little ironic, you know. Love, you better than me because I don't know what year came for what, motherfucker. It only gets <laughs> recollected when you ask the question and shit. Ask me what year? Have not the clue. <laughs> well, I know, I know. Down by law was eighty six, if I'm not mistaken. I know, um, strictly business, if I'm not mistaken, was either tail end of eighty eight or early eighty nine. Well, what did EMPMD steal from me? They stole something from me. I don't know if I'd say stole. I, just the whole idea of Jane, you know, like two songs with the same girl's name. And, you know, I just I always kind of found that a little odd. You know, that, that did was they all. use. Look, did they use it as if it was the Jetsons? Yeah, they might see. And I'm not that well versed on the Jetsons myself. So that no, actually the way my easy. shit went, Jane, Jane, they shit went like that. Well, they did have the Jane. See, because they did like three, four parts of it too, man. Um, All right, but see, it was I jacked the Jetsons for mine, and the whole yeah. thing was the whole the story and the Jetsons put together was the composition. So if okay, they didn't yeah. use if they didn't use Jane, Jane, stop this, then it's not the same. Then it just so happened. How many motherfucking chicks was named Jane? You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> Fuck you know, they just ran into another one. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. And um, before I do move off of Down by Law 2, I did want to just ask about one more record, too. Um, you know, it's one of my favorite records on the album. It's the title track. And um, with the Seventh Wonder Daisy Lady sample, I was just curious: was that uh, was that your idea, or was that Marley's idea to, to use that sample? Because I know that's a classic, uh, you know, kind of. Well, I know Sugar Hill used it. <laughs> what song was that? That's uh, Daisy Lady or uh, Seventh Wonder. No, I'm not saying that. What song was that of mine? Oh, uh, down by law. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I couldn't remember <laughs> which song it was. I think I'm getting Alzheimer's or so. <laughs> <laughs> I love that though, man. You know, and that's one of those samples I love. And no matter how many times it gets used, I love. Like I know OC used but it. But you gotta on. remember that, like saying you're a younger guy, right? Yeah. So those were the break beats that this whole hip hop shit started out with. Yeah. Those are the break beats that motherfucking when you was in the park, they would throw on and they had these records called ultimate break beats where they had all of these break beats on a pound. And that's what we started rhyming to in the parks back in the day. And that's what okay. we heard, you know, because it wasn't beats like that. It was that that's where the whole hip hop concept came in. That little two second break. For you to keep it going long enough and for, for somebody to do eight bars on it, but it's only three bars long. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's like you gotta do what you go bam. You got that was when you actually had the, you know what I'm saying? And those beats are familiar to my time. 
Yeah. And, and my era. Yeah, definitely. And was that so like when you guys did that record, was that something like was that an idea you came with from like the park jams and shit? And you're like, yo, we got to flip this or would that have been Marley? Kinda? It was just a no brainer whether who came up with that to beat. Come on, motherfucker, around to that shit. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What you got for this? <laughs> that yeah. would be like the favorite motherfucker word. What you got for this? <laughs> I love that joint, though, man. That's got to be one of my favorites uh, off the album, to be honest, you know, just because that sample, you know what I mean? I could see why that would be a good break beat for the park jams and shit, because that shit, you know, it should feel good, but it makes you move. And, you know, you could you could break dance to that shit all day. You could rap to that shit all day. Like Fuck these bird motherfuckers make the flock of them fly so I got a lot of clout, got a lot of props from how I walk, what I talk about walk, what I talk It's about. my check, come on, it's two step, come on It don't matter what's said and who you rap, come on Go with my mind, on my money, hear my money, on my mind I get mine, I get mine, I get mine, I get mine 